my name's Danny Birdie. Uh, I own a 1968 911T uh, in Aussie Blue. Yeah, look, I uh, spent two years looking for a car. 15 years ago, I found one on Would You Believe Trading Post and checked the numbers out. It's an Australian delivered car. The guy had it in his barn, an uh, actual barn find. It wasn't going. It was in Canberra. Got there at 8 o'clock in the morning, had a look at the car, negotiated a price. Next week, it's on a trailer. Um, and we got it started at a bent valve. I sent the motor out to uh, Ralph Alley at RPM. From a paint point of view, it was shocking. The car had been sitting around for a, a number of years in a barn, so it had dog hair all over it. Got it stripped, and it was a two year project after that. Um, painted. Unfortunately, it was orange. At that time, the cars weren't worth that much money. Painted back orange. I knew the car was a, an, an Aussie blue car because once I took the, the dash off, you could see the overspray from the factory. Only about five years ago, we realized the numbers of this, these cars, so I made a decision to restore it again. It was a full strip. We had new panels go on the car, new guards, uh, bonnet, deck lid, uh, all the chrome was redone, um, and the car is now looks even better than what it did before. So um, got it back to Aussie blue. Yeah, look, I wanted to keep it all original. Uh, look, I've been looking for a car, but I wanted to, uh, to get it back to original. I didn't want to have it um, as an outlaw or any in, in any other way. I did the interior again, uh, all back to original. The leather was sourced from, from Germany by Manny um, at CC Auto Trim. The dash had been redone as it was cracked. I mean, you're thinking it's a, 60, it's a 1968 car and a lot of pieces didn't make it. Fortunate enough, we could still purchase genuine Porsche parts and also parts from America as well. Yeah, look, exclusive painted the second time. The first time I had it painted and I had my reps paint it in, in the orange, but when we decided to look at painting it back to originality, it was a more complex process where we needed to strip it right there. All the orange had to come off, so we had to get it uh, chemically stripped. All the panels were replaced. New doors, uh, Ron sourced them from Porsche Australia, which you can still buy, which was fantastic. All the chrome was redone, the window frames out again and getting re-anodized. So second time round definitely was took a, took a little bit longer, but the results are far, far better. No power steering, there's no air conditioning. You hear the carbies, all you hear is the carbies just sucking. You know, there's no radio. Um, it is a raw car and, and it, it does, you do appreciate the the uh, style of car from the 60s and, and, and this is why it's, they're so popular. <laughs>